what's the basic difference between 51 and 50 51 as you know this is idmt that means inverse definite minimum time so what's the difference between 51 idmt and 50 instantaneous so with the help of typical uh, tcc curve of idmt delay we will try to understand what's the basic difference and what's the impact in changing the values of 51 and 50 in the relay protection coordination system in a power system network so let's start so here in uh, this idmt delay this is idmt um, tcc curve okay so what's the setting here this is ct ratio 300 per one abb rf 542 plus relay extremely inverse curve is selected pickup is 0 0.9 and time dial of this idmt this 51 is 0 0.86 and instantaneous setting is 4.05 whereas the time delay is 0 0.605 seconds so truly speaking this is not the instantaneous setting this is not 51 uh, sorry this is not 50 let's uh, go to the setting page over here okay so this is the delay setting page over current delay so we'll try to understand by changing the values in the individual setting what's the what's the impact what's the impact in this uh, tcc curve let's understand this so first of all let's uncheck this 50 this instantaneous setting okay now as you can see this is only 51 this is only 51 that means idmt characteristic so this is inverse definite minimum time as you know this is uh, the y-axis is for time in seconds and this x-axis is for and the current so here this current this fault current is clipped this fault current is clipped at 6.225 6.225 266 kilo amps at 6.8 kV so this fault current is clipped here okay so this is the inverse characteristic and how much it will uh, how much it will remain uh, ID IDMD that means uh, inverse inverse characteristic it will it will continue its inverse characteristic as you know whenever I am dragging this curve this is the minimum this is the minimum setting minimum time dial this is 0 0.05 and this is this is time dial 1.5 this is maximum time dial so this is the range where it can operate so yeah as you can see here up to this point up to this point if i use this cross here here yeah so up to this point let's put it okay so this is almost uh, 0.287 from the curve uh, we can see also uh, that means less than 0.3 less than 0.3 second that means approximate 0.287 uh, second up to up to here up to this point this will maintain its inverse characteristic this idmt 51 will continue its uh, inverse characteristic up to this point and after this after that this will be definite time this will be definite time uh, just like straight line as you can see whenever uh, this is clipped actually 
so whenever i will try to drag it you can see this is the straight line so straight line like this but it is not continuing it, it, is, it is clipped here because uh, my uh, my clipping uh, short circuit is only 6.266 kiloamps so it is clipped here so what's the basic here for idmg or 51 relay up to up to this certain point up to this certain point it will maintain its idmt characteristic or the inverse characteristic not idmt this is the inverse characteristic and after that it will follow it will follow the definite time definite time characteristic that's why this is called that's why this is called inverse definite minimum time that means idmt okay that's fine we have understood this uh, idmt characteristic now if i go again to this relay here if i activate if i enable this 50 setting if i enable this 50 you can see if i enable this 50 yeah so this one is 51 this one is 51 and this one is 50 so there are two separate curves which are generated in my tcc curve here as you can see this is time delay is 0 0.605 so 0 0.605 from here we can see also this is approximate point uh, point six that means 600 millisecond or accurately this is 605 millisecond and its instantaneous peak of setting is 4.05 4.05 here this is peak of 4.05 and time delay is uh, 0 0.605 basically this is uh, this is not actually this is not uh, instantaneous this is basically uh, short time short time rating that means it, uh, it will it, it, it will be called instantaneous when uh, if you see there is no time delay there is no time delay means uh, that should not be zero ideally ideally speaking the uh, this this delay time cannot be zero uh, zero second because uh, but there should be no intentional time delay that's the purpose that's the definition of this instantaneous setting so if i say, say here this uh, you can see this delay range is 0 0.015 if i if i put this 0 0.015 this is this is the instantaneous yeah you can see now this curve is coming down here so this is instantaneous this is called instantaneous setting where this time delay is 0 0.015 second that means there is no intentional time delay the minimum time the delay will uh, take to uh, pick up uh, for the instantaneous setting that is 15 milliseconds it will take minimum 15 milliseconds in some cases this is uh, 0 0.05 or 0 0.02 here in, for this particular relay uh, it will take 15 milliseconds that means 0 0.015 second so this is the 50 setting this is 51 and this is 50 now whenever we are using whenever we are using this uh, this integrated curve or this uh, this block toc by ioc and combine for this level and it will be shown as integrated curve so block toc means block time over current by instantaneous over current block toc that means block 51 by 50 block 51 by 50 if i enable this then you can see this is the integrated curve this is the integrated curve because at this point this 51 is blocked this toc is blocked by what by this ioc that means 50 that means 50 so the curve looks like so this is 51 up to this and from here from here this is 50 this is 50 and this is instantaneous setting but as you oh, can see here this uh, this uh, lv side this is lv side breaker and it is overlapping with this 
uh, is beside so this is not the correct coordination definitely we have to give uh, give some time delay that is the intentional uh, that's why there is a uh, intentional time delay so you can measure also this uh, time discrimination what's the time discrimination this is for 411 millisecond you can you can um, reduce this also this is 330 uh, for the idmt general uh, this is general practice to keep it for uh, numerical delay also 250 millisecond so you can you can put here also 250 sorry 250 millisecond no it will not okay okay we will drag it okay so this is 300 millisecond like this so this is the time difference so uh, if we if we disable this uh, 51 if we disable this 51 only 50 we can see only this 50 curve only this 50 curve but uh, what's the uh, what's the impact uh, what's the consequence of this because this part will not be protected this part is not coordinated so that's why we are uh, we are enabling this 51 this idmt for the better protection like this and if we block toc by ioc and combine but block toc by ioc it's not uh, so simple uh, it's very simple whenever i am uh, using here in etap software but uh, in actual field actually uh, that oem support is required that oem relay, man, uh, relay manufacturer they can only uh, make some modifications they can only make some modifications and uh, wearing uh, wearing um, in the logic uh, in the relay logic show that this feature can be can be enabled that means block toc by ioc a uh, site engine or any field or commissioning engineer cannot do this work only oem support is required for this particular activity so like this this is now coordinated so this is the combination of 51 and 50 so this is the basic difference and and uh, and uh, most of uh, and the most important uh, point uh, probably i have uh, missed this 51 is for the overcurrent or overload protection and this 50 is for the short circuit protection once again this 51 is for the overcurrent protection overcurrent or overload protection and 50 is for short circuit protection because 50 is instantaneous 50 is instantaneous so it is used for the short circuit protection uh, within a uh, few millisecond or uh, instantly the radius should pick up in case of uh, in case of any short circuit fault because here you can see this is the fault current this uh, x axis is for the current so fault current and it should operate within within a uh, few millisecond only but in case of this uh, over current it will depend the when the relay will give the trip command to the circuit breaker it depends on the uh, current fault current and this time with this fault current the, this relationship is the inverse it's the inverse uh, inverse characteristic it will follow that means the more current the more continuous current or the more uh, more overload current it will take it will take less time and less current it will take more time to provide the trip command by the relay to the circuit breaker so this will follow the instantaneous character uh, sorry this will follow the inverse characteristic this overcurrent or the overload protection 
but for the instantaneous protection it will it will trip it will give the relay will give the trip command to the circuit breaker instantaneously that means there is there should be no intentional time delay so this is the basic difference between 51 and 50 elements in any idmt relay so i think uh, this concept is clear now i have made uh, several videos related to this relay protection and coordination you can uh, check out and if there is any confusion any doubt in case of any doubt uh, you can uh, put your comment in the comment box definitely i will come back to you